What is the flu? Is it just a bad cold? The flu, although a viral infection, is much more than a bad cold. The things that make influenza unique are both the potential severity of the involvement of the lungs that it can cause, and also the additional systemic things that people feel, high fevers, body and muscle aches, severe headaches, burning when they cough below their chest bone or sternum. So it's not just a short little cold, it's a combination of severe cough, severe lung involvement with additional systemic manifestations. Additionally, more than other respiratory viruses is the risk for additional or secondary infection on top of it that make the illness even worse. How serious is catching the flu? Uh, it depends on how old you are. It depends on what your general medical condition is. For young, healthy people, catching the flu uh, can be difficult to, to handle just because you feel very sick, but it tends not to be life-threatening. But for the elderly or for people with chronic medical problems, uh, it can become life-threatening. What are symptoms of the flu? Symptoms of the flu may start like a regular cold with a sore throat and stuffy nose, but over hours rapidly evolves to severe cough, burning pain, high fevers, and achiness that make you just want to go back into bed and pull the covers over your head. What is the flu vaccine? Is it the best way to prevent influenza? The flu vaccine is a partially purified vaccine made of components of different strains of influenza. It is reformulated or remade every year to address changes in the virus that occur and the number of different strains that can infect people. It is absolutely the best way to prevent influenza. How safe is the flu vaccine? The flu vaccine is very safe. Patients get localized reactions from the, from the shot, sometimes some soreness and redness at the site. Sometimes can, people can feel a little bit flu-like for a day or two, but overall it is very, very safe and people do not come down with influenza, with the flu, uh, from getting the flu shot. Who are the best candidates for the flu vaccine? Is it safe for children and the elderly? The flu vaccine is pretty much universally recommended. Anybody six months of age or over can and should get the flu vaccine. The highest risk people are children under two years of age and people over 65 years of age, as well as those with underlying medical conditions. So they should all be getting annual flu vaccination. How long does the flu season last and when is the best time to get a flu shot? The flu season typically begins around November in areas like ours in the Northeast, peaks in January and February, and then typically tails out by April each year. So within that, the best time to get the flu vaccine is before the virus comes in the community because it takes two weeks from when you get the vaccine to develop the protective response. So the recommendation is to get the flu vaccine as soon as it's available each year. Typically late August, early September is when it's distributed. So by that time, or certainly by October, would be the optimal time to receive one's vaccination. Should family members of a person with a chronic illness receive the influenza vaccine even if the chronically ill person has been vaccinated? Absolutely. One of the additional targets besides high-risk people for getting the flu vaccine are those who are closely associated with high-risk people for several reasons. One, high-risk people may not develop an optimal response even though they get the vaccine. And secondly, the, less you, the more you keep the virus away from them, the safer it is. So the concept of cocooning, as it's called, by protecting the highest risk individual, by protecting them, everybody around them, is a very, very solid recommendation. I've heard that flu shots can cause the flu. Is that true? Uh, that is not true. Uh, that is definitely not true. Uh, sometimes people can feel a little bit under the weather for a day or so after getting the flu shot, uh, but nobody should be concerned that they are going to be uh, sick with the flu from getting the vaccine. Are there side effects with the flu shot? 
there are no serious side effects to getting a flu shot. Uh, sometimes people can get some soreness and redness at the site of the injection. Sometimes people can feel a little bit uh, flu-like, achy, a little bit feverish for a day or so afterwards, but that's really the extent of it. Is there anyone that shouldn't get the flu vaccine? But anybody six months of age or over is a candidate for flu vaccine and should get it. And the only reason that younger babies aren't vaccinated is the safety and effectiveness has not been studied in young babies. If I didn't get the flu shot, can I just take an antibiotic after I get the flu? Absolutely not. Uh, for one, antibiotics do not do anything uh, for a viral illness, uh, certainly not for the uh, flu virus, uh, and it just would not be safe to just take antibiotics uh, if you got the flu. In addition to getting the flu shot, how can I help prevent the flu? So to prevent yourself from getting the flu, wash your hands, wash your hands, and wash your hands. Uh, that's one of the most important things to do to prevent getting the flu. You should also avoid contact with patients who have flu-like symptoms. Uh, and to prevent others from getting the flu, it is very important that if you have flu-like symptoms, you don't go to work, you don't go to school, you stay home until your symptoms resolve. Is there a difference between drugstore flu shots or flu shots at my doctor's office? No. The drugstores purchase the same flu vaccines as the physician offices from the same manufacturers. They're all FDA studied and approved vaccines. The difference potentially is if you do it in your primary care physician's office, records are maintained and having a better history of receiving vaccine as well as attention to possibly other signs or symptoms at the same time may be important. But if access makes it easier to do at a pharmacy or elsewhere or a health department, it is the exact same flu vaccine. I'm very healthy and have never gotten the flu or the flu shot. Why should I get a flu shot now? There are several reasons to get the flu shot, even if you feel that you've never had it or that you are healthy. Again, it is a disease with a major impact, even for healthy people. And in addition, you run the risk, if you get the flu, of exposing those around you. It is such a common infection that statistically, at some point, you are bound to get it. Five to 20% of the population gets infected with this virus every single year. And it is going to happen. Even thinking that you haven't had the flu, you've probably had milder cases. Nobody makes it to adulthood without having had several influenza infections. But because you've done well in the past, doesn't mean you will continue to. And for your own health, with a safe, effective vaccine, it really is in your best interest to get the vaccine. I got the flu shot last year. Do I need to get it again this year? Yes, the flu shot. Uh uh, must be repeated every year. Different viruses cause the flu every year, and so the vaccine is geared towards the different viruses uh, that are out there each year. Where can I find out more information about the flu shot? Certainly reputable websites for looking um, would be www.cdc.gov, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, or for children especially, the American Academy of Pediatrics website at aap.org are reputable and reliable sources of information. Additionally, you can call us at 1-866-WINTHROP or check on our website at www.winthrop.org.